In this video, I'm gonna show you my new favorite camping bed. This is the Moto Bed from Zen Bivy. We're gonna get it out of the stuff sack and we'll show you all of the features in this design. First things you'll notice is it comes with a pillowcase. I did say this was complete. The only thing that they don't include is a pillow because the idea here is a camp sleep system that is almost as comfortable as your own bed, which is great. But they also think that you should have your own pillow from home. And uh, so they give you a matching pillowcase to go with it for your own pillow, which I think is cool. This is the Zen Bivy Moto Bed XL. So this is the bigger <coughs> size. I figured, I mean, it's a big camp system anyways. And the whole idea was just to have something super roomy and comfortable to sleep in. Gavin hasn't really seen this bag yet. So this is kind of new to him. The strap stays attached to the bag. So you don't have to worry about losing that. And it's a really nice fastening system. Uh, so you're able to fasten it very easily and get it kind of, you know, tightened down. To get it into the stuff sack, it's pretty, it's not super easy to roll up and, and fit into that stuff sack. And they, they say that you should be able to get your pillow in there as well. But to me, it was, it's a little tough, especially since I'm still recovering from a broken wrist. So it's still very weak and sore and stiff. So getting this thing rolled up is a bit of a challenge, but uh, I think if you had a if you had two strong hands, you'd be good. So the idea here is you've got this comforter, and you've got the pad attached underneath, and this is like a two piece a two piece pad. We can show you from the bottom end here. Looks like an avocado. It looks like an avocado. <laughs> <clears throat> so it comes with the foam pad for your top layer and an actual air mattress for your bottom layer. So when you get this thing blown up, it's about four inches of mattress, which is super comfortable for sleeping. Now you have a couple options here. Depending on how you want to use this, this part unzips. And it can just be like a super nice comforter, just like on your bed at home. But if you do prefer more of an enclosed sleeping bag type of thing, or it's a chilly night, just zip that foot piece back up. If your feet do get chilly, you can actually tighten this up. So this is gonna give you more of that mummy bag feeling down at your toes. It will be kind of open through here, but then you get down here again, zip this back up. and then you're nice and cozy. What you would do is, or what I would generally do with something like this, any air mattress that's self-inflating, I'm gonna get to camp, unload the car, set up the tent, get this into the tent, pop the valve open. Do you have any other things by Zen Bivy? This is my first Zen Bivy product. Okay. And I never had heard of Zen Bivy before, so having 
uh, seen this on the internet, I like, I wanted to check it out, and uh, actually they were kind enough to send this out for this video review, which I'm very thankful for, and I'm way behind schedule on getting this done, so this is, I'm glad and excited that I finally get to show this to you guys. But it's been a rough summer with the broken wrist and everything, and it did set me back quite a bit. So, Anyway, so what you would want to do is leave this valve open. That's going to give that air mattress kind of a chance to self-expand. And then you'll just blow air into it to get it to your desired firmness. And if you have an air pump, which I do have this really nifty little micro air pump that I wanted to show you guys, but... That is only effective if you remember to bring it with you, and I did not. It does have a two-way valve also. So when you blow it up, you'll blow it up this way, and when you want to let the air out, you'll flip it around, and that's going to let the air out but not back in. All right, so we've got this air mattress blowing up a little bit, and you can see here how, how thick of a pad this is. Like I said, it's about three, four inches, I'd say, and super comfortable. We're going to have Gavin climb in here okay. and kind of demonstrate things if you want to go around to the other side. Yep. She fell on the ground. Oh, it's okay. also got a little hood in case it's a chilly night and you want to kind of keep your head covered up, <laughs> get your pillow tucked in here. <laughs> What do you think of that? That is comfortable. Yeah, you can scoot down a bit okay. so your head's more. If we have, if we would have a pillow, but you see how comfortable this is. Like you got this <laughs> nice comforter here. It's loose. You're not restricted, right? We can zip you in. Yeah. Nice and warm, cozy, comfy. This thing is really quite great. It surprisingly feels like this is a pillow. Yeah? <laughs> it's not. Right? That's how comfortable it is. How's the mattress? Can you feel the picnic table? No. No. Get the foot box area opened up if you want a little more space. I give it a five out of five. Yeah. This is a great sleep system. Now, as you notice, this thing is very big. So it's called a moto bed, and I feel like that's a little bit, not deceiving, but like it messes with your head a little bit because I'm a motorcycle guy. So I think moto bed, motorcycle, but it is definitely an auto camping bed. That being said, do not fret because Zen Bibby makes a similar, two similar sleep systems actually that are smaller. They they started out designing sleep systems for like backpacking and things like that. So they have an ultralight and then one kind of in between the two. So this one's big, definitely for auto camping, but I've always you know, I always say motorcycle, when you're thinking motorcycle camping, think backpacking because it's very similar. Lightweight, packable, small. That's what you want for motorcycle camping. So having the ability to get one of those other two models from Zen Bivy, either one of those would work great, I believe, on the motorcycle. It's not going to be quite as big and roomy and comfortable, not quite the same kind of mattress and thing like the Zen Bivy Moto Bed has. Get out of here, spider. But a very similar design and sleep system as the Zen Bivy Moto bed. We can get you out of here. Get out of here, spider. But I love, I love how this thing feels. Like the quality of the material, the like durability of this thing. Like it's definitely like a lightweight but still warm and cozy. It really is a pleasure to sleep on the Zen Bivy Moto bed, in my opinion. So now I'm gonna get a, go ahead and climb in here. Uh, obviously I'm bigger than Gavin, so you can see that there's still plenty of room even for me. I'm about 5'11", a little taller, 5'11 and a half, and uh, yeah, 220 pounds. So 
I'll, I'll climb in here so you guys can can see how it, how it is. Is it comfy? Super comfortable. You can see if I had a pillow right now, I would be very, very comfortable. Got plenty of room with this comforter, which this is what I love about this. Doesn't it already kind of feel like a pillow though? Sort of, I'd like my head up a little more. Um, if I had a pillow from home, I'd be, I'd be really set. I'd be very comfortable. But plenty of mattress on each side of me. I would say six inches probably. Um, Plenty of room down in the feet, plenty of length. Like I said, 5'11 and a half, so nearly six foot. Plenty, plenty of length, comfortable. And I am super glad that I went with the XL because that that gives me that extra room. And it's actually so big that some of the blanket literally like falls off the bench. Yeah. And you can see if you're a slide side sleeper. I mean, you've just got plenty, plenty of space and it, I can't, yeah, it's super comfortable. It's really, really good. Also right to the five out of five. I'll give it a 10 out of five. <laughs> yeah, I just really love the idea that they wanted to design a system that felt close to your bed at home and the idea of having a comforter which i mean you've probably heard people talk about camping quilts versus sleeping bags and things like that and that's basically what we're dealing with here but it, it all comes together now the other two sleep systems that they offer on their website you get to build it the way you want to. so everything's sold separately and you're able to put it together like this where you've got the air mattress and the air mattress cover and then your comforter. And they do offer pillows as well if that's something that you're interested in. But having the moto bed for truck camping is gonna be great. I do love motorcycle camping as well. And obviously we, we won't be able to pack this on the bike. It would just be too, too large for that. Though it's not super heavy. I think this thing comes in at like nine pounds or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I'd have to look for specifications. It's not a heavy system. And just to be able to roll it up, put it back in the stuff sack and it's all complete. So one trip back to your vehicle and you're good to go. So we get this thing all zipped back up and we can just start rolling. Yeah. And again, this wrist is very sore and weak still, so bear with me. If this looks way more difficult than you think it should be, it's because it is for me. And really, if you're able to do this on the ground, you can use a lot more of your body to kind of hold things together to keep it super nice and tight, like keep your knee on it or whatever. But obviously, for demonstration purposes, we're using this picnic table, courtesy of the Minnesota State Park system. Wait, did you get all the air out? Pushing it out right now. What's the best way to roll it? We want to roll all the air out of that valve. So that valve is a two-way valve. So we're pushing the air out and not letting any air back in. Is that working? I'm trying to ask you smart questions. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yeah. Trying to fly in my ear. The camera, it made a sound.
if you have any questions about the MotoVed, leave them in the comments down below. Check the product link in the description if you want to find more details out about this thing or specifications or see, see the other models. Any questions a year or two from now, you can ask me. I'll still be using this thing, I'm certain. So yeah, very, very nice system. Thanks a lot for checking out this video and we will catch you next time on Touring Midwest. Bye guys!